Final fight begins with Belger whining to Rolento that Hagar closed down one of Mad Gear's operations and that it was time to initiate Plan Jessica. Put Plan Jessica into operation, Rolento! Now! Plan Jessica. So the plan to kidnap Jessica is called Plan Jessica. How long is this episode? So Rolento and company kidnap Jessica, according to their plan to kidnap Jessica, which I just want to remind you one more time, is called Plan Jessica. They throw some smoke grenades into the restaurant she's in, and then when everyone escapes to the roof, Elgato grabs her into their escape helicopter. Cut to Ken and Ryu watching Guy having himself a street fight with a local jobber. Unfortunately, Discount Incredible Hulk here rates a zero on the Crawdad scale. He goes completely unnamed, no offensive maneuvers, and no lines of dialogue. When's Marvel? Not now. Ken's being a dick the entire time, criticizing Guy's Bushin fighting style. Guy gets a phone call from Cody about Jessica's kidnapping, and Ken and Ryu decide to volunteer and help. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I swear I'm not even ready to deal with Cody. Or Ken. So, we meet Cody and... Where's my Jessica? Where have they taken her? <sighs> so we meet Cody, and the sum of his character is basically just that he's an impatient hothead. Big anger issues, easy to agitate, and, and this episode has Ken in it, so I bet you can just guess what happens next. It literally takes zero seconds for Ken to start being a dick and pushing Cody's buttons. Like, Guy has to jump in and tell Cody to chill. Come on, Cody, calm down. He's just pulling your chain. Okay, fine, but, but really? So someone should be stepping in and telling Ken to not be a dick, but of course that doesn't happen. The world is Ken's enabler. We cut to a meeting with the gang, Escher, and Mayor Mike Hager deciding what to do next. And before I go any further, I, I just wanted to make sure I pointed out how criminally underutilized Hager is in this episode. He, he does literally nothing. They're going to send Ken and Ryu undercover to try and infiltrate the Mad Gear gang and hopefully find Jessica before anything happens to her. Everyone but Cody likes this plan, partially because he doesn't like the idea of sitting around and doing nothing, but mostly because of Ken. Don't worry, Cody. When I find her, I'll take good care of her. Why you? And now for something completely different. Yeah. Give it to me, mama. Give me the juice. <laughs> Dan stops a subway so Mad Gear can rob some people inside, but are thwarted by a couple of new street thugs on the scene. Why, it's just Ken and Ryu doing their worst warriors cosplay. It's it's incredible. I friggin' love it. The duo make it clear they want to join Mad Gear, and apparently to join, all you have to do is beat a Mad Gear in a street fight. So, a street fight commences. Damned and Andor versus Ken and Ryu. Andor's got some moves and some serious power, but, uh, Damned, though? Slightly less so. The Warriors win and are taken to Rolento for further entrance exams. It's just a fight with Saddam. Hey, it's, it's nice to see him back. It's been a while. I guess working freelance for Shadaloo earlier in the season just wasn't cutting it. Either way, they fight and Ken and Ryu win yet again to the surprise of Rolento. And with that, they're, they're in. Ken and Ryu are officially Mad Gear now. Yeah, we passed the final test. Yeah, you're tough. Hey. Welcome to the Mad Gears. Just follow my orders, and we'll get along just fine. Meanwhile, Cody's angry and impatient and decides to run off and possibly jeopardize the mission and Jessica's rescue. There's a lot of ands. I wrote in my notes for that particular scene, Cody is an idiot. And he is. After Guy went to chase after Cody, Hagger was contacted by Belger with a ransom demand. All Hagger has to do is make sure Mad Gear are able to rob the Diamond Exchange without any troubles. So we cut to Ken and Ryu on their first Mad Gear mission, robbing the Diamond Exchange, with Rolento and company, and it goes as smooth as can be. Of course, Ken's being a pest the whole time, though. Constantly asking questions and wondering when they're going to meet the big Mad Gear boss. 
Rolento assures them that Belger meets with every new member of Mad Gear, which sounds stupid. Like, like that implies that Belger has met bread. Bread. Anyways, they meet Belger and Jessica's just kind of there in, in the room with him. Weird. Uh, Cody jumps the gun and tries to get into the building by force. Guy assists because he might as well at this point. You, you can't really undo Cody's initiative, misguided as it is. And it's that big schmoz part of the episode. Cody and Guy fight Relento outside and are able to defeat him via gr grenade juggling? Back inside, Ken and Ryu fight a bunch of Relento's goons, while Guy and Cody join everyone inside for a final showdown with Belger. Rather than just being a guy in a wheelchair with a crossbow, Cartoon Belger's wheelchair is weaponized with boosters and rockets and lasers, making him a pretty formidable opponent. Not too formidable though, cause Belger grabs Jessica and that, that was probably a mistake. You hurt my Jessica! Belger diehards out the window. I, I mean, not entirely. Like, this is still a kid's cartoon. He got stuck on a flagpole on the way to... Y you know, close enough. Cody and Jessica are finally reunited. Ken whines about how he didn't get the girl, and then Ryu proceeds to explain exactly why Ken didn't get the girl, because fuck Ken. I mean, what does she see in that blunderhead? Maybe the qualities you don't see. Discipline, justice, commitment. Sound familiar, Ken? Nah, no problem. As long as somebody gets the girl. To end, I just wanted to mention something that'll be very obvious to most fans of the series, but you know what? I I'm sure there are some of you out there that maybe don't know a whole lot about Street Fighter lore, or maybe this cartoon is literally your only exposure to the series. But this episode is a loose adaption of the 1989 Capcom beat-em-up game Final Fight. You play as either Cody, Guy, or Hagger, and fight your way through Metro City to Belger's High Rise to rescue Jessica. It's a great game, and it was awesome to see another Capcom franchise featured so prominently in the Street Fighter cartoon. If this series went on longer, it would have been really cool to see what other Capcom series could have potentially had crossovers. Unfortunately, next time on Street Fighter! This is it. The end of the road, the last goodbye, the final episode... Cammy, tell me true. We await your return, warrior.